The cover story of the September 2014 issue of Popular Science magazine features Bill Nye the Science Guy on the cover in something of a fighter's uh, pose. Inside the magazine there was a lengthy article with Bill Nye on a variety of topics, but a great deal of print was spent uh, talking about his debate with you last February. The article said that some of the questions directed to Nye by people at the debate seemed, quotes, designed to trip him up. One asked, how did the atoms that created the Big Bang get there? This is the great mystery, Nye replied, shrugging his shoulders and raising his hands. Unquote. Was that question designed to trip him up? Hey, look, I guess when you can't answer a question, then you can claim it's designed to trip you up. Now, in a debate circumstance, and you know when they take questions from the public, you've got to be prepared to answer any question that they ask. And in fact, the questions were written out ahead of time. Nobody knew who wrote those questions, and they were given to the moderator, Tom Foreman, who then took the questions and decided uh, the ones that were to be asked to Bill Nye, and then for me to respond. I had to answer that question too, by the way, because I was asked to respond to that question. Actually, you know the interesting thing? I found out later on, a mother contacted me and said that her young son wrote that question question out. I think he was about 10 years old. So I guess Bill Nye saying a 10-year-old asked a question to trip him up. Actually, 10-year-olds, 9-year-olds, younger kids, they can ask some pretty hard questions at times. I've had them come up and ask me, well, where did God come from? Well, who made God? I, I could claim that's there to trip me up. No, it's not. They're, they're asking. And you know what? That young man asked that question and Bill Nye had to admit he didn't know. And I responded by saying, well, Bill, there is a book. And that became the most quoted from phrase by Christian and non-Christian from the debate. Because I said, there's a book that tells us where matter came from. And later on, he was asked where consciousness came from. And he said the same thing, I don't know. But we have a book, it's called God's Word, that tells us who we are, where we came from, what life is all about, what our problem is, and what the solution is in Jesus Christ.